Hola! What's going on, everybody? This is the Ring Doorbell version 1, and I have owned this for about two years now. I had it installed on one of my properties, and then I uh, took it off, and now I'm going to talk about it because I've been using it for a while, and I know the ins and outs. So let me take it out of the box, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, well, here it is. Here it is in relationship to my hand. It's it's kind of small, but not too small. And it is, um, it's, it's a good build. It's not flimsy. It um, comes with this important screwdriver. The way that this is mounted to the wall is um, special because there's this little plate here. That slides off like so. And then the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna actually mount this plate onto the wall. Like if this is the wall, you'll pick your spot and you'll mount it this way. Um, then once that's sturdy, you will actually slide it into position okay like so boom and then it would lock and then these little screw ports down here you would screw these proprietary screws with this special uh screwdriver uh, i have a toolkit of allen wrenches none of the allens fit these special screws so you you need this and i almost i lost it <laughs> and i had to find it before i shot this video because i couldn't even get the screws off to show you what's going on in the back here not a whole lot actually once you get this undone you have uh this over here on the right is uh the, the where you charge the internal battery via usb and then this button, uh, I think it starts the charge or it activates or it does something. It th th One of the awesome things about this brand is that it gives you, like you don't even really need to read any of the documentation. Like once you install the app, the app will walk you through everything. There's very easy to follow video instruction and it basically just shows you how to set everything up. I... Uh, I guess charging, I should say that charging takes about eight hours the very first time. Um, and then when you push this button, the perimeter will light up purple. That's how you kind of know that everything is functioning properly and ready to be connected <clears throat> to your Wi-Fi network. Um, like I said, the video really does walk you through everything. It's pretty simple. Two things to, to know in terms of uh, how you want to set up. If you have a house that has a pre-existing doorbell, you can actually hardwire this to the main doorbell. Um, so it's going to make this chime, the special chime, and then also the, the chime of the house. Um, and then you can also, I guess, choose whether to turn this one off and just use the house. But the most important thing about connecting it to the house is the fact that you don't need to charge the battery. Uh, it is just powered by the doorbell connected to the house, which is awesome because, you know, once you hook it up, you know, for the rest of, you know, <laughs> however long it's working, it's working. Now, on the flip side of that, if you don't have a doorbell or power uh, to hook it up, you're going to have to make sure that this battery is maintained and uh, frequently charged. I would say, depending on how much it's used in terms of people or vehicles driving by the camera, uh, you know, that's the frequency. It could last anywhere between one to three months. And cool thing is that if you kind of live close by a street or a sidewalk, you know, you don't want every single person that walks by to trigger the camera to start sensing and then send you a video. That's what happens when someone gets close. Uh, the camera wakes up because it's not recording all the time unless you want to actually look. Um, but every 
every time that the camera is video videotaping, obviously it's using the battery. So the more time it the more times it gets triggered, the faster the battery is going to die. Um, what they allow you to do is actually there's a setting that allows you to uh, indicate you know the distance of what's happening outside the the range of the camera. Um, if let's just say for instance anything that is beyond 20 feet will not be sensed. Um, that's like one particular setting. Uh, anything that is 10 feet or further will not be sensed. So it just gives you a gauge of, you know, how active or unactive you want it to be. If, if you want every little car that drives by or every squirrel, <laughs> actually it doesn't really get uh, activated by animals, but cars do activate it and people walking by if they're too close or the setting is uh, set to be kind of all encompassing, you'll get a lot of activity and the battery will be shot pretty soon. So um, find the sweet spot in those, in those settings so that your battery lasts the longest and so that you're not always getting so many messages sent to your app um, so that it, it, it is in fact only when people come to the door, that's when it gets, uh, that's when you get notified. Also, I, I want to mention, I, I can't show you because the app, well, first of all, it's not hooked up, but <laughs> I'm also shooting with my iPhone, which is where the app is installed. But what it looks like on the screen, the app is like super easy to figure out. It's very intuitive. Uh, I know that, you know, Ring is not the only company on the market. There's others. I know you have the Nest system. I'm sure that's pretty good too. But, you know, just from experience with this one, it was very easy to set up and it's very easy to navigate. Um, and the, the video that you see on your phone, it really looks cool. Uh, it's good quality. It's good resolution. I think this is version one, so it's 1080p. Um, and it also fish eyes out. So you're going to get like, you know, you're going to see all the, you're going to see a very wide field of view. Anything that's like off to the left or off to the right, it's going to pick it up. So, you know, in terms of, you know, sensing and surveying the landscape of what's going on outside of your door, um, you know, the camera, this is a good, a good thing to keep you informed of what's going on. So with that, I think that's about all I have to say about this ring doorbell. If you so feel inclined, uh, you know, get one for yourself. It's about $100. I think I got it on eBay for a little bit less. Um, you can get them on Amazon as well. And they're up to version 2, I think, at this moment. Maybe version 3 will be coming out soon. And there's a whole family of other stuff that you can get. You can get add-ons. But this is kind of like the, the main the main hub this is the the central unit where it all kind of connects together the most important thing <sighs> so i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and uh, subscribe to the channel i talk about lots of different stuff thanks very much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one